Okay, I'm at Guler Ice Cave near Trout Lake, Washington. I'm at the fourth entrance from the south. This cave, this entrance is relatively easy. In fact, if I remember right, if I come here in the winter, this is the entrance I want to use because it's relatively safe. But anyway, not too steep. So anyway, let me... So there's a little bit of cave over there. I'll check that out in a minute. It's a little bit of cave over there. I'll check that out in a minute. And then this is the main tube. That's the way down to the third entrance. I already checked that out in a different video. No bats, but about a bazillion bugs. Yeah, this place is kind of creepy with all the bugs flying around. All right, so here we go. Try to get through here. <laughs> so I'm not gonna really crawl back here, but I just wanna take a quick look, show a few things. It's really cold. I swear in the past three feet, it went down about 20 degrees. But yeah, look at this. It's like a million bugs up there. It's flying around everywhere. It's like a nest. A lot of bugs up there too. So if I really wanted to keep crawling down through the cave, I think I could go through there and I would end up down there. But if I remember, it's like, it's more difficult than it's worth. There's like nothing important down there. So I'm not gonna bother. Same thing here, there's like a little couple of nooks and crannies back. Oh wow, okay, I'm going back here. Shh, be quiet. I see a frog, for real. He's alive, I can tell he's real. Let's see if I can get him on video. There, there's a real life frog inside the cave. Wish he would hurry up and eat all these dang bugs. That is freaking cool. I've seen, dude, I saw a frog in a cave one time, but it wasn't wet like this. It was a really dry cave. I'm like, no way. How did it get here? Because there's like no water nearby at all. And frogs are amphibians. They need lots of moisture. So I'm like, how is that frog even alive? But you know, it must've been like a tree frog or something that was used to the dry weather. Wow, that is freaking cool. I was hoping to see bats today, but I'll settle for a frog. That is so cool. Okay, then over here, I was just through there. I didn't see it before. I wonder if it was hidden down there. You know, behind the rocks or something. Or if I just didn't notice him. Okay, so now I'm down here in another little side passage. This one's a little more spacious. I was going to say no sign of frogs though, but you know, that's what I said last time I was through there. All right. But yeah, look at this. Notice the ceiling or the floor comes up and the ceiling comes down. They're both coming towards each other. They're getting smaller and smaller, closer together. But look at this. You go back here. <clears throat> They don't completely touch. They can just get smaller and there's like a passageway back there. It's like three inches tall, 18 inches wide. Looks like it goes back dozens of feet though. Makes me wonder if there's like a huge secret room back there that no human's ever seen because there's no possible way a human could get back there. That'd be really cool. It's entirely plausible. The, these caves, they're accessible because the ceiling collapsed, made what we call a skylight entrance. It's entirely plausible that there are a lot of caves around here. The ceiling didn't collapse, so there's no natural entrance. That's kind of cool. There's a cave in uh, Central Oregon, north of Bend. Oh shoot, I forgot the name. But anyway, yeah, it had no natural entrances. They found it by accident digging a basement for a clubhouse. Luckily, they, they didn't build the clubhouse on top of it. The cave's open to the pub, well, for tours. I took a tour. Okay, there we go. So there's the fourth entrance to the north of Guler Ice Cave.